everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the uniform convergence. Today, I will explain you the what are the properties of the uniform convergence. And the first property is the relation between the uniform convergence and the bounded function. Myself, Dr. Harishkar, you can follow my YouTube channel where you can find the playlist of real analysis and you can see the various lecture related to the point wise, example of the point wise Cauchy criteria, uniform Cauchy criteria, MN test, all are available in this single playlist. You can subscribe my YouTube channel so that when I upload it, my next video, you will get the notification. Now, what will we see in this lecture? We will see if the sequence Fn will converge to the F uniformly, then if Fn will satisfy either of the property, then does F will also satisfy the same property? That means whether the uniform convergence preserve the boundedness, whether the uniform convergence preserve the continuity, differentiability and so on. In our last lectures, what we have learned that if the sequence is converges to the point wise and f of x or f of n will be either continuous, differentiable, bounded or anything, then the f may or may not be same. That means this property may or may not preserve always. In case of may not preserve or does not preserve always in case of the point wise convergent. So that means that means the important question arises is if we want that if fn is my convergent or fn is my continuous or differentiable, f is also differentiable, then we have to apply some additional assumptions. And what are those assumptions? If you look like say in these pictures, then I believe me this is one of the easiest way. The best answer given to these questions is always about the uniform convergent. So what does it mean is if you prove that the sequence fn converges to the f uniformly then all these property preserve. What does that mean if fn is by bounded f is also bounded f is continuity fn is continuity f is also continuity. So but how you can prove that in this lecture I will explain you firstly about the bounded next. Fine. So that's the, that's the objective of this today's lecture. We will define the uniform convergence and the bounded relation. So what is the relation is? Before that, firstly, what is the definition of the uniform bounded? A sequence of the function is said to be the uniform bounded if there exists a positive integer m or constant real number m such that absolute value of the fn is less than or equal to m. And make sure it must be for all x in my domain. For example, you can and m is called as a uniform bound. You can clearly say fnx which is defined as a sine x is a uniform bounded. Why? Because if you consider the absolute value of the fnx and what is the value of the sine and x, we all know is for the real line so it is definitely be less than or equal to 1 for all x belongs to the r. So m is my 1 and which is a positive and a real constant. Therefore, fnx is my bounded function. Now, what is the result is that it's a very, very important result. If the sequence fn is my bounded and fn converges to the f uniformly, then this f is also my bounded. Fine. The proof is a very, very simple. If you look about the if you look about the statement, what is given to you? The first thing is bounded. Second thing is uniform convergent. So the proof is dependent only on these two things. What is the definition of the fn is bounded? Therefore, there exists a real number m such that fnx is less than or equal to m for all x belongs to my domain A. Fine. What is the definition of the uniform convergent? That means for a given epsilon greater than 0, there exists a positive integer m such that fnx minus fx less than of epsilon. Then what is your target? Your target is to show f is bounded. So what does it mean? It is bounded on a. So for that what you want to prove? That means your target is to prove fx will be less than or equal to m for all x belongs to the a or instead of the m because I already used as a m in this case it must be less than of some alpha fine 
So that means I can start with the fx. How you can write that? If you look about these two equations, equation number one and equation two, fx is related with the fnx. I can subtract fnx and I can add fnx on the, this side. Fine. Now this value I can return as by using the inequality a plus b which is less than equal to mod of a plus mod of b. So I consider this is my a fx minus fnx plus fnx. Fine. I can take a negative as a common because it is the fnx. So which is again the similar. So that means fnx minus fx plus fnx. Now you can substitute this value. It is my, it is my, this number is my less than epsilon plus this number is my less than m. So now you can see m is a real number, epsilon is a real number which is a constant. So therefore I call this number is my alpha. So we can say fx is less than of alpha because equality is there. You can consider as equality. There is no issue. So therefore f is my bounded function. Fine. And that's the proof of this result. What is the conclusion of this result? What is that? What is the meaning of that? The meaning is if fn converges to the f uniformly. Fine. And if you prove that this is my bounded then it implies f is also bounded. But, but if the sequence of the bounded function that is fns converges, on the other hand, if fns converges to the f pointwise, fine. And this fn, this remark is very useful for your CSR net, gate, NBHM or any of the examinations. If you prove that fn is my bounded and this f is my unbounded function fine then fn never converges to the f uniform so this is also way you can prove that any of the sequence converges to uniformly or not but also make sure if fn converges to the f pointwise fine and this fn is my bounded this fn is also bounded then fn converges to the f uniformly may or may not be fine but f is if f is my unbounded then it is sure that it is not uniform convergent however if the function is or firstly prove that it's a uniformly then definitely be the bounded function or you can see that if fn is my bounded fn converges to the f pointwise fine if fn is my bounded f is my unbounded then fn is not uniform convergent to f. For example here you can see that if you define the sequence of the function fnx clearly say it is a bounded. Why? Because if you start with the modular sign it is n over nx plus 1. Now clearly say that domain is my 0 1. If x is lies between 0 1 then 1 over nx plus 1 will definitely be less than 1. So you can see it is less than of the n. Fine. So therefore it is my bound. Now how you can find the pointwise convergent? Firstly we will see whether fn converges to the f pointwise or not because in order to check about the uniform convergent you need to check about the pointwise convergent. What is the limit as n approaches infinity n over nx plus 1. It is an infinity by infinity form. So I can apply the allopater rule. So this will be my 1 over x. So the limit is my 1 over x. So what does it mean? fn converges to the f pointwise on the limit on the domain 0 comma 1. Fine. Now I had proved that this function is my bounded. If I prove that f is also bounded then it may or may not be the uniform convergent. But if I prove that fx is my unbounded what is the fx? 1 over x for all x belongs to the 0 comma 1 and clearly say when limit x approaches 0 positive it will be my infinity therefore function is not bounded. So if function is my not bounded that means f is my unbounded fine 
एफ एन इज माई बाउंडेड एंड एफ एन कन्वर्ज द पॉइंट वाइज दैट मीन्स एफ एन इज नॉट कन्वर्जेंस टू दी एफ यूनिफॉर्मली सो दिस इज द वे यू कैन चेक अबाउट द यूनिफॉर्म कन्वर्ज लुक एट वन मोर एग्जाम्पल एफ इज डिफाइन एज द फंक्शन वन ओवर वन माइनस एक्स देन पी एन एक्स इज डिफाइन टू बी दिस चेक वेदर इट कन्वर्ज इज यूनिफॉर्मली और नॉट वट इज योर टारगेट फर्स्ट बिकॉज इट्स अ यूनिफॉर्म कन्वर्जेंट योर फर्स्ट टारगेट इज टू प्रूव पी एन एक्स कन्वर्ज इज टू दिस इज माई पॉइंट वाइज और नॉट फाइन सो फॉर दैट फर्स्टली आई कैन सिंप्लीफाई दिस एफ एक्स सो क्लियरली से दिस एफ एन एक्स इज माई the इक्वेशन ऑफ द जी पी सो आई कैन राइट दिन एच सम इज ए वन माइनस आर रेस टू पावर एन ओवर वन माइनस वट इज द सम ऑफ द जी पी सीरीज ए वन माइनस आर रेस टू पावर एन ओवर वन माइनस आर फाइन नाउ यू कैन चेक अबाउट द पॉइंट वाइज कन्वर्जेंट आई कैन चेक अबाउट द लिमिट एज एन अप्रोच इज इन्फिनिटी so 1 over 1 minus x is outside because i need to compute the limit on the n 1 minus x raised to power n what is the value of the x x is lies between the domain so what is the value of the x n it goes to the zero as n approaches infinity so the limit is my 1 over 1 minus x which is basically a fx which is given to you so therefore the function pnx converges to the fx point wise now you need to check about the boundedness so clearly say pnx is my bounded fine pnx is my bound now you can check about the uniform convergent again i will use that two methods first method is because i prove that pnx converges to this is my point wise fine and this function is my bounded so if i prove that this function is my unbounded if i prove that then it is not uniform convergent fine so what is the fx fx is my 1 over 1 minus x clearly say it is my unbounded because if you take on the limit of the 1 minus what is the value of this it will be my infinity otherwise you can draw the graph that also the same meaning of this this is the graph of corresponding to the one it is my unbounded so once this is my unbounded therefore pnx is not uniform convergent to the fx second method how you can use the uniform convergent we have to show by the definition fine by the definition pnx minus fx should be less than epsilon and how you can prove that i already explained this how you can solve the uniform convergence in this lecture you can watch this which is available at my this playlist and that is an exercise for you you can try it yourself and let me know your answer in the comment box whether you will get as a non uniform convergent or not for more detail you can find my this playlist available at my youtube channel and you can watch about the various lectures related to this uniform convergence we will see the next lecture on the uniform convergence and the continuity till then you can like share and comment on this video don't forget to subscribe my youtube channels thanks for this support happy learning always